Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, love, truth, and unity in the Flat Earth community. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about that subject. Um, some of you probably remember Rodney King. Can't we all just get along? Um, some of you may not remember that. You'll have to Google it. Um, seriously though, um, we have way too much in common to be arguing and fighting and uh, finger pointing and being divisive. Um, it really, it, it really doesn't matter what map you think is right or what map you think is wrong or whose content you like, whose content you don't like. Um, I've seen people saying, if you believe the Gleason's map, unfriend me now. Or, um, if you're, if you're a fan of this person's content, you're a shill because he's a shill. Um, unfriend me now. But, um, there, there are some people I have unfollowed on, on Facebook. Um, just because I didn't like that kind of stuff showing up in my feed. Um, but the flat earth community is too small right now to be, or at any time really, it's not going to be big enough that we can afford to be divisive and split. Um, and to tell you the truth, these, these videos, people supposedly outing shills and stuff like that it just makes the community look bad if um if i was new into flat earth and started to search and saw videos like so and so is an agent and um the uh gleason the ae map is for idiots it has more holes than the globe model stuff like this if i saw that kind of division and People arguing and finger pointing and name calling. I would have, I would have exited YouTube and <laughs> and said, I don't know what those flat earthers are doing, but I'm not interested in it. Um. So, um, we we're a very diverse group, and we're not we're not gonna agree on everything. There's no way. I mean. Um, in my last video, I talked about um, some of the diversity. Um, the professional athlete from New Zealand that I met at FEIC 17, um, a doctor from India, uh, contractors, boat captains, uh, blue collar people like myself, um, people that work in sales or the service industry, and uh, we're all, and, and then there's the different age ranges. From early 20s, teens, there's even, you know, younger kids, like really young kids who are, are waking up to Flat Earth. And all the way to the other end, um, in the age spectrum, the older, older people that are, are waking up too. And just because, and because we all have these different backgrounds um, and, and lifestyles and stuff, our, our personalities are different. Just because somebody's a goofball doesn't mean they're a shill. And, you know, some, <laughs> some people who, who have known me most of my life um, might, might think I'm, you know, might not take me seriously because of my personality. Um, I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> we all have, I mean, we have such, so much in common so, and it's a big thing. It's not just like, oh, you like the color blue? Yeah, I do too. That's my favorite color. Cool. Um, this is the thing that we all have in common is huge. It's literally globe shattering thing that we have in common. We know I mentioned this in my last video. We're, we're not living on a spinning ball flying through space, and we all know that. 
um, we know that pretty much everything we've ever been taught in school is a lie. We know that the government is lying to us. You know, it's we have too much in common to be divisive, to be fighting. If if you don't like the map, the most currently accepted map, and you want to go meet with people who also don't like the currently accepted map, and you want to work it out, you want to work out something, you want to pool your resources and explore and chart and bring us a comprehensive map of the flat earth, do that. By all means, do that. But don't make a video saying that I'm an idiot because I like the Gleason's map. That's just stupid to make to make videos like that to to call people names to be divisive. There's we don't have room in the flat Earth community. There is no community if we're going to be divisive. We have to be we have to stand together in unity. Um, you know, th there's all those old sayings. You know, a house divided will not stand or. Uh, united we stand, divided we fall, um, strength in numbers. All of those sayings from a long time ago, they're still around today because they're true, still relevant. Um, so, you know, if people are going to be that way, I'm just saying it shouldn't be that way. We should... I don't know. Don't. We either need to get our act together and unite because that's what they fear the most is is unity. Okay? They they fear unity. Um so the people yelling the loudest about the shills and the people that are pointing fingers and causing problems, if they're going to keep it up, we, we need to just leave that stuff behind. And if we have to leave them behind, then, then that's what we should do. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to put the title, uh, I wanted to put Kansas city in the title of this video. Um, because I don't think I've ever mentioned that in any of the titles of my video. Um, we just had a meetup here in KC. Um, it was a couple of weeks ago. Today is, I think it's December 16th or 17th. Um, so it was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, one of our members wanted to kind of keep the ball rolling. His name is Jake. Um, he has a website, gofindtheothers.com. I will try to put a link in the description. Um, he went to the FEMA camp, the Flat Earth Music and Arts thing in Denver um, earlier this year, or over whenever, I'm not sure when it was. Um, and then I went to the FEIC 17, and he wanted to get another, have a local meetup to kind of keep the ball rolling, you know, the momentum from everything. And um, we had two new couples that came out to our meetup, um, Ben and Abby, who live not too far from uh, where I live right now. And then we had another couple, Don and Linda, who drove like four hours to come to our, our meetup. And they were really uh, happy and excited to meet everybody. Um, so our group is getting bigger. Um, and then about sometime during the week following our meetup, uh, my wife Tammy was on Craigslist and saw an ad for someone who wanted to, uh, meet at a restaurant with other flat earthers, if there were any flat earthers in the area. So she contacted him and he owns a restaurant in Kansas city. And he said that he had, uh, several other people contact him about a meetup who weren't in our group. So now we're looking at, um, we're gonna, our group's getting even bigger. We're going to meet, um, we have a meetup scheduled 
uh, January 8th, I believe. Uh, <clears throat> so, yeah, our group is growing. And and I wanted to say something about, um, about unity. Um, just in our group, there's, uh, I believe, the biblical earth model, um, just the way it's described in the Bible. Um, there are others in our group who are not on the same page as far as that or you know even our existence as humans what what we are who where we came from things like that um i'm not sure you know what I, i've never even asked you know for sure if you believe in the dome or infinite plane it really doesn't matter to me because because of what we have in common um the whole the fact that we're not on a spinning ball flying through space and we've been lied to that's that's the main thing right there. Um, that's what we ha it's what we have in common, and we should be able to get together and and meet up just based on that. And if somebody in our group wants to believe the square map with the portals and the Pac Man sun, you know that's I don't. I'm not going to say it's ridiculous because, you know, we don't even know what the sun is for sure. Um, I don't believe that. I personally, if you, if you care, um, I think the circling sun and the, the AE map perfectly explains what I witnessed with my own two eyes here in the Midwest. I see the sunrise uh, on the eastern horizon in the, in the winter time. It's farther south and the days are shorter and as the sun circles back uh, the days get longer and then the sun it, it's warmer in the summertime and until it right, gets up onto the to the northern half of the eastern horizon so as far as I'm concerned the circling sun works I mean it perfectly explains what I, I see but if someone if the, you know other there are other people in our group who don't feel the same way as I do about our existence and, and the map. And that's okay because, uh, because of what all we have in common, the major stuff. It's so big that the details really don't matter. And if you're going to nitpick details and call people names and, and ask me to unfriend you because of that, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna unfriend you because you don't like the map I use. Okay, I might unfollow you because of your negativity. Hey, what? Oh, you should keep. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just walk in the door and yell, "Hey, Dad!" My bad. Are you recording something? Yeah, I'm recording something. Oh. I'll act like a good dad. Yes, son. Uh, would you like to say? Would you like to tell me something? Did you? Did I make you forget what you're uh, gonna say? Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking about it. Say, hey, dad. Yeah, you made Yeah, you made me forget what I was gonna say. Sorry. Um. I think that was all I was gonna say. Um. I sign, I sign the, the title from this uh, video, I sign my correspondences when I email somebody or sometimes when I make a comment on Facebook in closing instead of saying best regards or sincerely, I will say love, truth, and flat earth. And that's just how I sign stuff and that's where, but then the, the reason for the video, I added unity, love, truth, and unity. In the flat earth community and i think that's where we need to be i think that's where we need that should be the point unity um united we stand and divided we fall so i guess that's i guess that's all i wanted to say um unite um so until next time love truth and community. Thanks for watching.